This is Pop OS 2404 LTS, the biggest release so far based on Ubuntu 2404 LTS. This update brings major changes, including a brand new desktop environment called Cosmic Desktop, along with new applications, new features, and performance improvements. Now, let's take a look at the only features in Pop OS 2404 LTS. Now this update improves the installation procedure. Using it, you can easily install Pop OS on your system in just a few minutes. The installer now supports full disk encryption. I chose the manual partitioning method, which allowed me to create partitions manually and install Pop OS along a site Windows 11 on the same drive. The installation took around 2 minutes on my laptop, which was much faster than I expected. After the installation, you will see a brand new welcome screen that lets you customize your Cosmic Desktop. Pop OS 2404 comes with all new Cosmic desktop environment codenamed as Epoch 1. Now, this is the first stable release of System76 brand new Linux desktop environment built in Rust. It replaces the older GNOME desktop and it's highly customizable. The Cosmic Desktop is built from scratch and comes with its own compositor, window manager, and login manager. Compositor is valent only, which means X11 is no longer supported. However, you can still run X11 applications using X valent. The Cosmic is a fully functional desktop environment with features like auto tiling and plenty of customization options for the dock, panels, themes, and workspaces. Searching for applications in Cosmic is very easy. Simply press the super key or window key on your keyboard and start typing to search for any application installed on your system. You can also click this apps icon on the dock to see all installed applications neatly organized into categories. Now switching between workspaces is also simple. Just click the Workspace button on the dock to view all workspaces and open applications. The Cosmic Desktop comes with its own set of new applications like Files, Terminal, Text Editor, Media Player, completely written in Rust programming language. Now, my favorite part of the Cosmic Desktop is Auto Tiling. You can enable it per workspace. It also supports floating windows, so when windows are tiled, you can select any app window and press Super plus G to float it out of the tile mode. Using Cosmic settings, you can tweak the Cosmic desktop even further. 
For example, you can increase the size of the panel or dock and also add your applets. Now inside the apparent section, you can choose different modes and colors, use rounded style for buttons and text fields, adjust the interface density, change fonts and much more. Now Pop OS comes with all new App Store named Cosmic Store, which lets you download your favorite applications without using CLI environment. It uses Flatpak and Cosmic Repository as the backend. This makes it very easy to install applications like Android Studio directly from the App Store. The Cosmic repository also allows you to install future Cosmic applications very easily. For example, the Tweaks application lets you customize your panels, dock, and apply color schemes that further enhance the user interface experience. Pop OS 2404 now supports ARM architecture, which means you can install it on any ARM compatible devices. I tried running Pop OS on Apple Silicon using VirtualBox and UDM, and it worked fine without any major issues. Now this update comes with brand new kernel 6.17, which means better performance, improved hardware support, and a smoother experience. It brings updates for Intel and AMD graphics, support for new laptops and chips like Snapdragon X, and better webcam compatibility. File systems also got faster and more efficient, making things like reading and writing files a lot quicker. If you are using Pop OS 2204 LTS and want to upgrade to latest version without reinstalling, first backup your files to an external drive for safety, then open terminal and run this command, and continue with the upgrade process. And that's pretty much it about the Pop OS 2404 LTS. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or queries, do post them. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.